Hello and welcome to another Mr. Beats Fight video and this one's a little bit different insofar as it's part three. And I didn't think we'd be doing a part three. I thought it'd just be a quick update on this uh, HF100 from Sony, um, which is a repair for Xavier. It's the second machine and uh, was it worse than the first? I don't know. I'm starting to wonder even more. <laughs> whether it is uh, so problem with it um, as you, you've probably guessed um, after we tested it after the last um, uh, sort of got it up and running or whatever it was still sort of it was point pin well it was looking like it was the, um, the pen controller was was playing up but actually it wasn't um, it was sort of mistracking slightly because the capstan speed was varying then suddenly it seemed to improve very very briefly and then it went like the clappers <laughs> um and it, it did start um you can sort of see there's a loop of tape there now where it's it's going so fast to take up um can't keep up um you start getting problems with the, the tape getting damaged then but um yeah the um the fault it started um, after sort of two, three minutes um, of use then. And then the more I've sort of played with it and experimented, it's down to about 30 seconds. Now, my gut feeling is it is a capacitor, but uh, knowing these machines, and um, we did actually feature a, a capstan issue on one of these quite a while back, actually. And that turned out to be a leaky transistor um so yeah it's uh interesting um <laughs> interesting to see what we'll find uh so what i'm going to do is pull the power um you see the clock's a little bit brighter which is something um it's still awful but um it's a bit better and we're going to access the panel properly um so it's the, the system control um panel and uh, it's buried so first thing we're going to do is take off the tuning board whoops that was lucky and when i say take it off i mean completely disconnect it take it out of the machine because we don't need it at all i mean it's redundant anyway i could leave it out so it'd be fine but uh yeah we're going to take it right out and then take the bottom off again <laughs> Um, and um, drop the video board, YC board, and oh, keep it tight. And unfold the other panel on the top. Put the machine on its side and we can get to both sides of the the ss panel that we need i'll shut it tight i'll do that in a minute Okay, so a few interesting things that um, have come to light, which I didn't notice before. Surprised I didn't actually. This whole side isn't screwed in at all. 
um, and the SS28 board is not screwed in there and there, which is probably why I was having trouble with those cables. But then having said that, I didn't drop this board, did I? Because I didn't have to. Um, so yeah, that's why I wouldn't have noticed. Um, it's still a bit surprised I didn't notice the screws missing, but uh, hey-ho, there we go. And then we got to the top of the board as well. Um, there's a Sanyo cap there which more than likely will be fine. Uh, the later machines, they weren't so bad. Uh, well, they're, they're no worse than any of the others, to be fair. Uh, in some ways, better. But um, I can't see there's been any work done on it. All the solder looks original, which is good. Uh, but obviously, it's been moved about and pulled about for some reason, so... Yeah, I need to have a look at that. So what I'll do now, um, I'm going to just uh, uh, tidy up the cabling a bit. This board is getting quite bent as well. It's sort of not not sitting well at all. It's not happy. So I'll, I'll fix that just so I'm not straining cables or the board. And uh, then we'll do some hot and cold tests and uh, do some voltage checks, I suppose. Let's crack on. Okay, so let's try some freezer spray first. So let's put that on. Uh-huh, and turn on, just do a capture, see what it's doing. Oh, almost straight away. Because it would help if I'd sort of gone, actually found the uh, capstan servo circuits. But anyway, hey ho. I think it is up to, actually up here. So I think we're looking at a bad transistor again. making no difference Ooh, flipping a bit the other thing it could be of course is one of the driver transistors but I doubt it I really do I doubt it's a driver transistor um, easy fix of course is swap the board I've got quite a few of those no adjustment or anything then barely uh, okay, well, um, it's certainly getting worse, so, uh, yeah, just for, just for laughs, I might actually look at my original video, uh, or the, the last video I did on, um, that had almost exactly the same faults, and, um, just see which transistor it actually was, because, um, it'd be quite funny to test the one in this one, to see if it's the same one, but, uh, yeah, okay, let's crack on. Well, I checked out my previous video on doing one of these, and uh, it was Q323, which is 630, I think it is. Um, it's probably 2SC 630. Um, maybe I'll need to check. I'll, I'll put it up above. Um, that transistor there, so there's the FG coming from the um, capstan, and it's that transistor. And I had I had a spare, so I swapped it, and it's absolutely fine. And it's been running now for probably about an hour, and it's been absolutely fine. Um, brilliant. Uh, I put it on the tester, and every time I pressed the button to test the transistor, it was coming down ever so slightly uh, the gain. So yeah, again, it's it's just leaky and horrible um the longer it's run the worse it gets so yeah i mean that's that's completely solid so i'm going to put this back together and uh give it another run and pretty much we're good to go i mean it, what i'm going to do now is run it for five hours or so uh run a few tapes through it 
Then I'll do a final quick alignment, just check the exit. I'm a bit concerned about the exit, guys, and the en entry. I'll check that as well, but the exits. And, uh, yeah, and go back to Xavier then. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on. Okay, so power it back on. I think that clock is getting brighter, you know. You can actually see it with the the light on. Uh, so that's that's quite an improvement. Uh, it's still really dark. <laughs> um, so let's just try that again. And yeah, more good. Tracking doesn't seem to... Actually seems very good. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's eject that. That's happy. And... Start the capture. And of course, this is um, this isn't hi-fi. Beta hi-fi. Furthest left. I tweaked the capstan speed slightly um, because it was doing weird things still, only slightly, and uh, it seems to really improve things. So, yeah. So furthest left, furthest left, you get just a little bit of loss of lock. Uh, that's right absolutely fine it's brilliant so uh, like i say this i have a jolly good run now um i don't trust that something else is going to go wrong i'll let you know if it does um i will just give it a quick check before it goes back to xavier then uh put the scope on it uh but i'm happy with this and over the moon actually because <laughs> I, I did wonder if it was going to be worth doing but uh no actually it was actually a very good machine before somebody had a go at it so uh, with that, thank you very much for watching and um, probably be a different machine next week. Let's crack on. Bye for now.